Does that leave one on the docket, Ms. Reeves? Missy? Yes, Judge, I believe so. We are on the record. Can someone please move the county jail camera so we can see all of Ms. Reeves? There we go. Okay. We are on the record in 2022, CR 180, State of Kansas versus Labita Joe Reeves. The state appears by and through Ms. Jill Gillette, Greenwood County Attorney. Ms. Reeves appears in person, in custody, and per se. Is this a, just a motion to revoke probation, Ms. Gillette? Yes, Your Honor. She doesn't have an attorney, Judge, because they just uh, did a warrant and then she was arrested. Well, I see she was last here December 13th, 2022, with Attorney Fogler. And there's been three negotiations and she pled guilty to count two, which was a violation of a protection order, and she was sentenced. So we are actually, we are all, okay, motion to revoke probation. I see. So, Ms. Reeves, the state is wanting to revoke your probation on the grounds that you failed to pay your costs and fines as directed, having a balance. I'm sorry, I can't hear you at all. I, I, your list completely unclear. I totally can't hear you. Seriously, I'm being for real. I understand. I've been being. I cannot hear you, Judge Webster. Honestly. Deputy, is there anything you can do? You are very quiet in the jail, Judge. And there's nothing you can do to turn that the, up. The computer is on max. It's been this. It was this way with the last two hearings. Like completely maxed out. Listen, do you want to look at this again? I don't know what to say, I, Judge Webster. Honestly, I, I we can't. We cannot. Can't hear you. We we honestly can't hear you anymore. Oh boy. She's missing. Yeah, she turned her camera off so that she can try to adjust her. She completely is missing. Ms. Gillette, is that any better? Or deputy, is that any better? It's the same, Judge. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Judge Webster. I'm sorry. Any better? It's a little better, but still quiet. Deputy, is that any better at all? Not really, Judge. She's been muffled all afternoon. I don't know what's going on with her normal system is not working normally. Any better at all? No. Nothing's resolved. Is this any better? Can you hear us? So, no. Yes, that's better. All right, now can you hear me, Ms. Reeves? Yes, Judge. All right, I had to change locations, but we'll make this work. So the still on the record in state of Kansas versus Levita Joe Reeves, Greenwood County case 2022 CR160. Ms. Reeves, you're here because the state has filed, as I was saying, a motion to revoke probation. They are alleging, first of all, that you failed to pay court costs and fines as directed, 
and that you have a balance of $263. They're also saying you violated your probation by failing to report as directed on February 13th, 2013, I'm sorry, 2023. They're also alleging that you left the jurisdiction without permission from your court service officer on January 12th, 2023. Probation. They are saying that at the time your whereabouts were unknown. And that would have been May, May 9, 2023. So just today, but apparently it didn't take them long to find you. Apparently. Apparently. All right. So you do have the right to an attorney and the right to a hearing on this. So do you want to hire an attorney or apply for court appointed? You can waive your right to an attorney and represent yourself, but you certainly have the right to an attorney. Is that a question? Would you like my answer? Judge yes, Webster? it is. Yes. Yes, it's a question. And yes, you would like my answer at this point, Judge Webster? Yes, Miss Reeves. Is that okay with you, Jill Gillette? You need to answer the judge as to whether or not you need an attorney. I'm, as I'm asking you and Judge Webster at the same time, making it abundantly clear to everybody present live. Yes, correct? Jill Gillette, County Attorney. And All right, Ms. Reeves. Ms. Reeves, now come on. Just answer my question. Do you want an attorney? I would like to file for court-appointed attorney, Judge Webster and Jill Gillette, county attorney, with, I believe I would need paperwork to do so. Well, you can fill out a paper or you can answer a few questions and we can decide if you qualify probably pretty quickly. Wonderful. That sounds like a great idea, Judge Webster. All Thank right. you. You're welcome. Are you employed? Not currently, but I believe at this point in time, I will be self-employed from this point forward until I just die. <clears throat> and you've been unemployed for how long? I have been unemployed since November 1st of 2022. Okay. I will appoint an attorney. Her name will be Shannon Cooper. Got it. I believe I found her card mm -hmm. upon my arrival to the Greenwood County Jail. That looks like the card I'm familiar with. It looks with. just like this right here. Shannon L. Cooper, attorney at law, 316-833-1154. Right. And, and over Kansas because I have actually been in her office. Very good. Very Judge. wonderful. Very wonderful. Yes. Yes, Ms. I don't know if she can take this case. I think there may be a conflict because I believe Mr. Favre was appointed last time. What about M. Blake Cooper? Well, he would have a conflict that... too. Okay, so they have some. Oh, well, you know. Um, oh, I... Hang on, hang on, please. So I'm hanging, believe me, relentlessly, uh, Judge Webster. Okay, Missy, did the Coopers have a conflict? I believe so. Uh, I believe it was a victim. Yes, because it has to do with the victim in this case. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right. I will reappoint Joseph Favre to represent you if he will take the case. He's not taking as many cases for us as he used to. Okay. But Judge Webster, I do have something to reply to that. Um, Go ahead. Is that all right that I reply? It is. 
Well, you see, Joseph Favre held my case when I was transported, moved, housed in Elk County due to lots of conflict here in Greenwood County. So therefore, Judge Webster, I'm not acting. I'm being so absolutely 200 million percent positively correct when I say this, that the system has failed. But here I am. So if Joseph Favre is okay to take this case, we are gravy. Okay, so he's not part of the system failure that concerns you then? That, okay, that, why did you ask that question? I said he was part of the, I'm sorry, that. I, well, you started out telling me that the system had failed as a result of okay. uh, you, that's okay. irrelevant, Judge right. Webster. Do you do do we want to go into this right now, or this is first appearance? We're trying to get an attorney. All right. Well, I'm going to get you an attorney. If Mr. Favre can take your case and will take it, he will do so. If he's unable to take it, Missy will find another attorney for you, and we will let you know who that attorney will be. I could give you a list of them and hire one myself if you would like. If you can hire one yourself, yes, I'd like you to do that. I thought you were telling me you could not afford an attorney. And I can do we were... pretty much a lot of things at this point and juncture. Well, I'm not going to appoint an attorney if you have the means to financially hire an attorney. Well, who would you be appointing if Joseph Favre is unavailable, Judge Webster? I don't know. There is a list that Missy uses. How would you like to give me at least three names of those available attorneys, please? And thank you. Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to give you a court date. Missy, when is that? How about May 30th at 3.30? Your next court date is May 30th at 3.30. And that is, again, a warrant to show cause why your probation should not be revoked for the violations alleged that we went over. We're going to get you an attorney. And deputy, has bond been set for her? Uh, I believe it's 383 cash, Judge. Say that again, three 380, what? 383 cash. Okay. Now, Miss Reeves, the bond was set, I believe at 383 cash because that is what your balance was. And I wanted you to you to have an opportunity to give that money to pay off your case and complete an obligation of your probation rather than just give it to a bondsman as some folks will do. But uh, you have the right to a professional surety if you want. I don't want anything but a real meal at this point, your honor. I'm gonna set her bond at 1,000 professional surety, cash or professional surety. But if she wants to pay off the 83, the 383, then I would 83? accept 83, I got that. Jeez. 383, then I'm I sorry, would... what? Wait, what? I'm just, okay, got it. $1,000 cash or surety bond. But if you want to pay the 383 in lieu of the bond, I would be willing to work that out. The Kansas statutes do make a provision for that. So you can pay your case rather than a bondsman. So bond is set, court date is set, attorneys to be obtained. What else can we do for you before I let you go here? Do you have anything else, any questions that I need to answer? I got nothing. I have right. absolutely not a thing, but the clothes on my back. Okay. Okay. Miss Gillette, anything further? I doubt it. 
maybe what what's up what's up jill not too much thank you thank you. all right thank you miss reeves you may go at this time is that the end of our docket <laughs>